Hi folks, I'm Debate Brother number one, and I'm here to make my own homemade sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddle. Very similar to that that is made at McDonald's. It is very much more better because you don't have to pay much anything at all, and you don't have to just settle with a simple biscuit. So what you're going to need is any kind of pancake mix. I like the uh, buttermilk instant pancake mix. You just need some sausage, cheese, and if you want to put a little some bacon in there also just for the extra meat, then go ahead. And also some eggs. And also, the pan this size is about what you need. Now, in a minute, I'm going to be cooking all that meat and stuff, and I'm, that's going to take a little while, so there'll be no need for me to record that. So, so just sit back, and you'll be seeing me in a bit. So goodbye for right now. Hey folks, it's me, Debate Brother One again. Now, as we said last time, I was going to be cooking all the meat, get my eggs ready, and my batter. So, first off, like I said, make sure you have a pan like this. It works to the best. And as you can see, a little bit of bacon and sausage, all cut up and all cooked. Batter made. So you want the batter to be not thick, but not thin either. Somewhere in between, so it, so it will work the best. And five eggs worth with a little bit of cream in there and pepper so anyway first off get your get non-stick cooking oil spray canola oil or anything will work make sure you spray this pan nice and good yes that's nice and good so now yes and please don't talk mother you're not in this video please Rub it all in the side, as if you're giving your true love a good back rub. Or oil massage. Eh, whatever turns your ways into a dream. So, there we go. Yeah, let's get this off. I don't want my hand slipping and spilling all my good work. Wash good. Because with COVID around, you never know. So, hands are clean of any oils. And so... There'll be no chance. So, for the batter, you need about two cups worth of batter with water. So it's about two cups full. See the two cups right there? So pour it on in, nice and even coat, all the way in. Try to get as much of that good batter out of there because you do not want to be wasteful. I'm gonna have to get me a little plastic scooper got it right here yes we'll get the last bit out of there out of the bottom yes okay now that your batter is in there what you're gonna do next to make sure the stuff stays separate from the eggs is you take your cheese I use American cheese but you can use any other cheese if you want yes This will help keep some of the egg from mixing in so much with it. Yes. Now, the best part is now you put in your sausage and bacon. You can have good sizes. This will also help keep, you know, your your egg from getting totally mixed in with the batter. Get it all nice in there. Try to make like a layer of beautiful meat with bacon and sausage. There we go. Now, the eggs. But first, let us preheat the oven to 350. So, just gently pour that wonderful egg in there. As you can see, it's kind of 
it's going to be a heavy substance, so some of that egg will kind of sink still into the batter, but the cheese and stuff will keep most of the egg separate. And just for a little extra cheese, if you want, just throw a little other cheese in there. So I'm just gonna go go another two slices of cheese on top. There's one and two. Put that back. There we go. Now, do not mix it together, but leave it together on top so it stays. Leave it the way it is. Yes. Now just just go ahead and stick it in there and let it cook on its own, even while it's preheating, which should take no more than 30 to 40 minutes of cooking. So this is good for, like, say, if you want to get your kids off and you don't want to get them fast food for lunch before or breakfast before school, because, you know, you don't want to give them fast food for breakfast. Sometimes, yeah. yes. Yes. But you want to give them something they will love from something they do like. So, make your own sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddle. Now we'll let that cook and we'll come back in a bit after this to see how it turned out. We'll see you later. Hey folks, debate brother number one back here again. Now that the thing has been cooked, it's time to get it out and give it a taste test. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Just look at that. It looks like the egg still, you know, joined in with the pancake. But it's the taste that really matters. Yeah. So, got a little plate here for just my spatula. Let me get me something so I can hold on to that. It's gonna be still hot. Looks like the eggs didn't get totally 100% cooked out, but that should be okay because, I mean, that's probably the grease also from the... Because that's cheese mixed in, so that probably had something to do with it. Yeah, they're definitely run... No, that's still raw. I can't serve that. So, I think you added too much egg. I guess the five eggs was, I mean, we only had five eggs left, so I thought, you know, it wouldn't make a difference. So, back in. But we gotta leave in ten minutes. Look, if we can get it cooked in time, it should still be good, okay? I mean, cut it open so the eggs are going to cook a little better. Next time, just add two or three eggs. Yeah, I guess I'll have to do that. So, we'll be postponing for a minute, folks. Hey, folks, I'm back again after my little mishap. This time, I got it good. It's not, you know... Okay, maybe it is a little runny right there, but that's definitely cooked. I know my grandmother could make eggs like that. A slightly runny egg, but still cooked enough that there's no salmonellas. So this is my Egg McGriddle with pancake, egg, and cheese. Yeah, that smells good. I'll taste it. Okay. Number two is going to taste it. Careful, it's going to be piping hot. You think they knew that? Okay. Like you said, it smells delicious. I'm going to get me a little bit of everything, a little cheese, and a little bit of... Okay. Mmm. Perfectly cooked. A slight gooey texture. 
the way it should be. Slight, very, very slight. But just right. But if you don't like gooeyness, you can still warm it up in the microwave to harden it up a little bit more. Okay, so that's my homemade Egg McGriddle inspired by McDonald's. Yes, Mom, the food is ready. We'll see you later, folks. This is the Debate Brothers. We're signing out.